car. It's very quiet, even though, you know, the motor is super loud. I'm in this zone. I don't want to talk to people, and I kind of sit there and I focus on what the race is actually going to look like. I focus on seeing me win. I want the best reaction time. I've got to come off the line first. I just kind of go, okay, Nicole, we're, we're gonna get ready. This is what this race is gonna look like. This is what you're gonna look like winning this race. Florida is 89 Chevy Camaro, new matchup here with Bruce Kurt. Kurt, Auburndale, Florida. Well, of course, I'm a big muscle car fan, so anything like from your SS 396 Chevelles to 69 Camaros to Novas, I just think that they have so much character and um, so much stomp down horsepower that, you know, a lot of our cars, of course, today don't have, you know, your Ferraris and paddle shift and you do all that. No, I want to actually shift gears, you know, and put, you know, push in that clutch and actually have to pull that, you know, her shifter down and, you know, I'm big on that, so I, I like those, those cars are my favorite. My top sportsman, an HRA car, um, is a beast. I'm going to tell you, it's a Jerry Bickle built car. Um, it is the only car out there in top sportsman racing or in drag racing that I've seen that's painted by West Coast Choppers and Jesse James when he still had West Coast Choppers. Um, so it's really sick. It has this tricked out paint with flakes and it looks like a motorcycle. I mean, it definitely doesn't look like a girl's car and that's what I love about it. It's got a Steve Schmidt motor in it. It's got about roughly 1,700 horsepower. It's a six second, a quarter mile car. It's incredible and in the way it's built and you know, four link system on it, uh, Mark Williams rear end. Um, it's just an incredible, incredible piece and I'm so proud of it. Every time I get out there on the track, um, she makes me proud. I got into NASCAR actually this year. My decision to move over to NASCAR really was a hard decision because I love drag racing and I grew up drag racing, but the dollars <laughs> just don't equate that well in drag racing and I've always wanted to branch over to NASCAR and I kind of figured since I moved to the South and made this big push in racing, it just kept coming at me and I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to make that switch, I'm going to do it. I tried it, I loved it. Um, the competition in it is so fierce and it's just, it's incredible how many factors go into just even qualifying in the top 10 and even actually winning a race. Both teams are just exceptional and we both are like families. We could hang with each other for 24 hours in a day. We all take pride in what it is that we're doing and I think that's what makes us such an incredible team. And we're, we're crazy. We're not your normal type of individuals. We like to have fun. Uh, my team pulls a lot of pranks on me. They tell jokes all the time and because I'm so into like the hip hop stuff and just so west coast on them, they like to go back and research like if, if I'm listening to like a certain song and it's a hip hop song, then next week they'll come out and on my radio set they'll be like, you know, like Jay-Z said in that song, and I'm like, did you really go back and research what Jay-Z was talking about in that song? They're like, and when we come into turn one and two, we need to ride out like Jay-Z would ride out. <laughs> I'm like, okay, here we go. When I suit up, I feel like I'm ready for work. 
people always ask me like, Nicole, you still have your suit on? You know, and it, it'll be like all day <laughs> that I wear my suit. And it's like, you know, it could be hot as ever. I still have my suit on. But I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I have my suit. I'm at, I'm at work, right? Like we're, we're here to work, right? You know, I don't go taking my suit off. I leave it on the whole day. I want to feel like a race car driver the whole day that I'm at the track. And that's just, that's just me. It's crazy kind of being a woman in a male-dominated sport, especially being, you know, a black woman in a male-dominated sport. You come against your, your guys that are like, you know, hey, it's great that you're here, you know, we support you, we like you. Um, then you come across your people that are just like, you know, ah, she can't drive, or I don't know why she's out here, or why don't you go stand by the car and look pretty, or whatever it may be, you know. At the end of the day, though, I wouldn't have it any other way. like me you like me if you don't you don't um, but you know that's one thing about being around guys is for the most part they're kind of give you how they feel about you straight up you know and women when you're a bunch around a, a bunch of women it's like hey girl you know and then they turn around like I can't yeah I can't stand her you know and so I kind of enjoy the fact that guys are you know they keep it way more 100 than women do I like to stick out, you know. I, I like being that pink elephant amongst the room, you know, have that wow factor. And I think um, it's something that's really rewarding to my sponsors as well, because I do stand out. And, you know, there isn't a lot of women out there. I'm just thankful, really, it's just, I keep saying that, but I'm just thankful to be in the car and thankful to be racing. And I've had so many people tell me no, that, you know, you shouldn't be driving or you shouldn't do this or, you know, whatever it may be that it's just like, for the most part, most people are negative about it than positive about it. And for me, it's just so rewarding to be in the car and to be able to stage up and do what it is that I'm doing and get it, the car from A to B and win races and go rounds. It's just, you know, my family's very thankful for that. You know, we've sacrificed a lot to be there. I hardly eat when it comes to race day. I always feel like I get lethargic or I'm gonna weigh the car down. I know it sounds extremely crazy. Like how you weigh 110 pounds, like how are you gonna weigh the car down? But it just feels like if I have that burger, <laughs> we're gonna go a little slower, <laughs> you know, in my reaction time, you know? So I'm always trying to feed the other drivers. Like, you know, don't you wanna, don't you want a burger? Don't you wanna eat? Isn't it lunchtime? Shouldn't you be eating something? You know, hoping that I can uh, maybe gain some traction on, you know, having a better reaction time than them. But it, it, you know, it hardly ever works. The guys out there are so competitive.